Hey guys, welcome to my first look at a game called Tower Climb. This is a game by DaviOware, which uh, I don't really know anything about, unfortunately, but it's definitely a very independently uh, designed indie game type of thing. And you can pick up the beta for this, as I have, for uh, $5. And that gets you access to whatever has been created so far, plus the- what the fuck is going on? Oh god. Okay, we're- we're apparently getting right into it here. Uh, this is- this has never happened in here. Oh, oh my god! What the fuck? Okay. Um, let's wait until I finish my intro to start playing again this time. So this is, uh, kind of a spelunky, reminiscent, um... 2D platformer where the goal is to get somewhere, but instead of going down as you would in Isaac or Spelunky, you're going up. It's randomly generated, and it has a really deliberate Super Nintendo aesthetic to it. It really brings me back to, I guess the game it reminds me most of is Super Metroid graphically, but it, the gameplay is nothing like that at all. So it's a super unforgiving um, platformer. I've spent just enough time with it so far that I don't die like all the time. Oops, just picked up something from that treasure chest. I don't know what it is. Gold greaves stored. Okay, so I think that means I'm wearing them, but I couldn't I couldn't tell you for sure. So the uh, my main complaint about this game so far, oh, God, fucking damn it, is that the controls are so awkward. So you get one revive per life, and I just like totally wasted mine there. But yeah, as I said, controls super awkward. Um, I don't know what that is at all. Spring blocks. Spent. Oh, is that what happened to me? Did I get, like, thrown off the edge by a spring? God damn it, man. So, yeah, I'm... I This is one of those games that I really, really want to be able to enjoy, and I, in fact, have enjoyed myself on a few runs. But the controls... Whoa, what are what? those? The, God damn it. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. No! D stay on it. Okay, so we're out racing lava right now. The controls really mar an otherwise really cool experience for me. It's also, it's a super complicated game and there's no native joypad support. Um, so I've used joy to key to kind of map my uh, my controls so that I can play it on my PlayStation 3 controller because otherwise like, there's no, like, I can't even imagine trying to play this on the keyboard, especially with the controls they have. They like use the arrow keys and everything, it's, it's terrible. Um, Wow, so I actually made it through the first floor there, which is unusual. I've only done that once before. Okay, we got these dogs. Those dogs will fuck your shit up if you aren't careful. Uh, but yeah, here's an example of something really awkward. To climb this wall, I'm having to hold both toward the wall and up, and if I let go of either of them, I'll fall off. And when you're trying to use either a D-pad or an analog stick, doesn't matter. Uh, it can be really hard. Okay, I'm gonna pop a jump potion. Oh, just, uh, stay on the wall, man. I'm gonna pop a jump potion here, which allows me to double jump once, or you can't normally jump off of a wall, so I'm gonna use it for the- okay. Okay, that was- oh no! See what I'm talking about? Like, falling off of walls is so incredibly common and just almost impossible to avoid because the, the controls make it super awkward to climb these walls, and that's a, that's a huge complaint I have, but it is- we're in like an early beta stage here, so hopefully the controls get significantly polished as we go on, or I'll probably get used to them as well, but I still do feel like the the controls in this game are really inferior to other controls of similar games in the genre. I would really- oh my god, okay, this is my best run ever, I'm getting it on camera. I don't know what that red box does at all. Okay, I think that's spikes up there? Maybe it's just plants though. Okay. Oh fuck! I meant to put that away so that I could use it later. But at least I didn't blow myself up with it. Those are like bomb flowers essentially. You pick them up and then you throw them. The picking up and throwing mechanism in this game, also super irritating. Uh, if you let go of, or rather, if, okay, you pick something up and then if you push any direction then you just throw it. Uh, no questions asked. So let's talk to this witch. That's what she always wants, golden berries. I've never seen uh, any golden berries so I don't know, really know. Oh, there they are! Oh my god, up at the top there. Okay, we need to get up there. How are we gonna do this? Can I get up? No, not quite. Okay. So we're gonna pop a jump potion. I'm really being liberal with these. Okay, and then... Oh god, there's a dog 
guarding that jump berry. That sucks. Okay, let's get up here. And then just, God damn it, if I jump... Okay, here's what we're going to do, actually. We're going to come over this way. Then we're going to jump over the here. Yeah, okay. Got some golden berries. Let's see what the witch was. God damn it, that hurt me. Are you serious? Or maybe it just stunned me. I'm not really sure. Okay, I gave you... Okay, and then I can push buttons to buy stuff. I see. I see how it is. Um, I think I need some more jump potions. That's what this is going to boil down to. And I want to see what that heart does. The revival potion will consume four bear. Okay. I see how it is. So in addition to these jump potions, there's also uh, these corrosive potions, which I haven't used too much. They're, you can use them to kill enemies, and they're super awkward to use. Like everything else in this game. I, I feel like I'm being a little bit overly down on this game in this uh, first look at, but it's not really my feelings on it. I just feel like I'm playing something that's super unpolished, and that's really that's what I signed up for when I bought a beta copy of a game. Okay, so there's spikes there, but you can walk on the spikes, you just can't jump onto the spikes. So let's just... Okay, good. We're all good. I wasn't sure... Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure those red berries are just like corrosive potions, just like the purple berries are just like jump potions. Wow! Made it through another stage. It's going way further than I ever have before. Okay, I'm scared. Because I heard a noise when this started. Okay, there's a golden berry. Let's grab that in case we see another witch. Get up there, man. There we go. Okay, so we're going to have to use... No, we aren't. Okay. So we're going to try to conserve our... Oh, there's a witch right there. I don't think I want to buy anything from her right now, though. Well, let's just let's see how much it costs to get a... Uh, I forget what the green potions are. God damn it. Obviously, I haven't played this very long at all. I forget what they are and how to use them. <laughs> Teleport potion, that's right. Okay, so... If you, uh... I don't know what these crates do either. Can I just open it? No. I can store it, and I can throw it at enemies, and that kind of stuns them, and I can get out of the way. Um... I think I'm gonna have no choice but to use one of my double jumps here. Oops, god damn it. I always fucking do that. I'm trying to put it away and I accidentally let go of a button or push a button and it just flies off. I think we're going to have to use our other double jump here. Now let's start climbing. Hopefully not fall to our death. Fall damage is fucking brutally unforgiving in this game. It's- oh! Okay. We're good. We're good. We gotta watch out for the dogs. Let's climb up this way. There's another crate. I wonder if I should pick that up. I'm not really... I don't know, man. Oh. I'm gonna do it. And then later on I can pull that back out of my inventory. So I'm not even gonna try to explain the controls to you guys, because it's basically gonna be up to you. You're, you're gonna want to use Joy to Key, and you're gonna want to just set up the controls however it feels right to you. And I... I oh god. Okay. I honestly don't remember what the PC controls are. I've just been getting used to whatever keybinds I set up for myself. I don't know what that is. And that scares me. Okay, we got a rat sitting on top of a giant jump berry up here. Let's... I, I wonder what that does. Is it like... Plus 55 climb, plus 35 hang. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll definitely take that, I think. It sounds positive, anyway. Um... Oh, God! Okay, I thought I, I thought for sure that I had just jumped onto spikes and died there. Okay. Really? Why are these spikes not killing me? Uh, not that I'm complaining, but uh, what the f- Oh, I accidentally just used a, uh, a corrosive potion. I have those set, uh, because there's so many buttons you have to bind for this, I actually have some of the potions set to the uh, pushing down the analog stick. So Okay, we're in the hatchery. I'm not sure I like that. Um, I don't like the look of that fish at all, I'll tell you that. Oh, what? We're swimming now. Okay, so we're underwater. We got an underwater level. Those are always terrible. But in this game, I, I, I actually kind of like it. Okay, just stay away from me, fish. I'm going to try to grab these golden berries. I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, this is actually way nicer. Let's pop open this treasure chest. Spear stored. How do I, how do I use it? 
so many mysteries with this game. It's there. There's not a lot of okay. God. That's right. You yeah, You can't come out of the water, can you, you big asshole? That would be famous last words. You just popped out of the water. What is that? Get in the door. Get out of there. Okay. We're all good. Surprisingly enough, the ground tremble. I don't like that. Okay, we're back underwater again somehow. We're just gonna rush. Yeah, I gotta say, these underwater levels seem way the fuck easier than the other levels. I can't believe how lucky I'm getting. My my best run ever. No! Why would I say that? My best run ever was on, uh... Was on camera here. So, how long have I been recording? Ten minutes? Let's do one more run. Or if it's super short, maybe two more. But yeah, I think... This, this has been a fairly representative view on Tower Climb. So, if you guys are interested in purchasing this game for yourself, by the way, definitely check the description. I'll give you a link to the website. You can just pay $5 over PayPal and get access to the beta and all updates ever done to the game. So you'll get your, uh, your access to the main game. Okay, those are bees. Gah! Damn it. Um, you don't want to fuck with bees, let's just put it that way. Um... I have no choice but to fuck with bees? Are you kidding me? I have to come up here? Okay, bees. See, if this game looks interesting to you, I definitely... For five bucks, like, five bucks is not a lot for a video game. So don't expect a polished product. Don't expect something that's, like... God damn it, man. Okay. Stay away from me, bees. I hate bees. Um, don't expect something that's really easy to control don't expect joypad support because obviously it doesn't have that if you're planning on playing it with a keyboard expect to have a steep learning curve for yourself because there are a lot of buttons and the bindings don't make a lot of sense to me and there's no way to rebind them um, but yeah if if this is your kind of thing and I think it will be for a lot of you guys because a lot of you guys like Isaac this is very similar to Isaac in a lot of ways in that uh, it's randomly generated dungeon crawler and it's really hard to play it's permadeath and it's a really rewarding experience when you get far. It's not like a lot of games that come out these days where it's like, you know, it's almost like you're just playing your way through a movie. Every time you die, you get respawned exactly where you were. There's no challenge, etc., etc. Okay, I'm going to show off the skull door. And it's right next to the normal door, which wasn't the case last time I saw it. But this is a shortcut, but you go through a extremely difficult... Um soul crossing with all these fucking ghosts and they they beat the shit out of me last time okay there they are okay so we're gonna watch out for the ghosts we're gonna try to just make it through here this is a shortcut so presumably oh god Tobias was spared having the ghost take his soul away I didn't have time to finish reading that but uh you know what I'll take it okay oh no 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 okay okay just get up there get up oh god okay wow Tobias was spared his life again. We're lucking out here. Um, what happens is eventually one of these ghosts is going to steal our soul and then it's all over. Okay. Oh, it does. Don't fall down the wall. Okay, we're going to wait until this ghost does. Go. Okay, now run, jump, climb. No! God damn it. The fucking climbing mechanic. Like, what I really want out of this game is a tight control scheme like a Metroid. That if, if if I could have Metroid controls in this game, that would be this would be my ideal game. But as it is, controls are super hard to get used to and super unforgiving, um, which really mars the game. <laughs> Fuck! I didn't think I would jump anywhere near that high. Oh my god! I still have my revive berry. Okay, we're gonna grab on right here. We're go oh no! God damn it! We're gonna drink a jump potion. Jump up here. No! Fuck me! What a moron! Ah, <sighs> unjustly fell to his death. Well, thank you guys for watching. First look at Tower Climb. And, uh, again, definitely check out the description if you're interested in this game. Five bucks for the beta, and you'll have access to the main game when it comes out as well. This looks like your kind of thing. I hesitate to recommend it. it I give it a very hesitant thumbs up, because it's... It needs a lot of polish, but the concept is there, and it's still, despite the lack of polish, after I got used to the controls, I, I am having a lot of fun with it. Also, let me know if you'd like to see me play a little bit more of this on the channel. I may or may not start a little mini-series, uh, probably not nearly as often as Isaac, but we might see how far we can get in this game. It's, it's a fun one. 
Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.